I want a viral. This one, the one you all asked for. This is Jeff C. This is the video you've been waiting to see. Thousands of have written. Like this button right now. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Coach Greg, and today it's all about Jeff C. The number one most requested video. Is he natural or not? I'm going to answer this question and I'm going to explain it in detail so that you understand. Okay. Before I get into it, I'm not his trainer, his coach, his best friend, his lawyer, his doctor, nothing. I know him zero. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Jeff C. Jeff Side. Jeff Saeed. I don't have a clue. Okay. Shoot me if you want. No, do not shoot me. Okay. Anyway. So, I'm only right 99% of the time, maybe 98, somewhere in that. So there's a small itty bitty chance that the information is not correct. I doubt it. Stay tuned. Okay, before you watch this freaking video, like it. Like the button right now. If you like it, more people are gonna watch it. I want people to watch this video. This is gonna be my first 1 million views video. Make it the first one. I have zero million. I want a viral. This one, the one you all asked for. This is Jeff C. This is the video you've been waiting to see. Thousands of have written. Like this button right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Let's first examine his early years because when you try to see if somebody's natural or not, you want to know, well, what kind of genetics does this guy have? Okay, so as far back as I could see, 12 years old, what did I see in his potential? Amazing potential. Very good genetics. He's 12 years old. He's got abs. He's got a little bit of muscle. He's not even close to being through puberty. So even without puberty, you know, at puberty, things go on hormones and stuff and you start building muscle really quick. Even without that, he looks pretty damn good. Okay, moving on to 13 years of age. At 13 years old, you can already see he's putting on some muscle. He's not even gone through puberty still and he's still getting pretty friggin' muscular. So you can just see already a great body for potential for muscle growth. So unless he's taken something at 12, which I'm telling you I'm 99 point plus percent sure that he's not, that it's naturally gifted genetics at this age, okay? So take into consideration that he has elite, not just like Dan Bilzerian elite. I'm talking about way better than like Anybody you know genetics. Better than David Laid, better than all these guys. This guy's genetics are through the roof insane. So he's obviously gonna be able to build a lot of muscle natural, okay? I know you're thinking, oh, there's no way. But you gotta think about how good his potential is at this very early age. So not only does he look good, he has the athletics to back it up. What did he do? He did a lot of wrestling. He was a champion wrestler. He was ripped, muscular, shredded, 14, 15 years old, wrestling, doing front double bicep poses, just showing off and looking like, what's up with this dude? Imagine wrestling that guy in his weight class at his age and being like, what is happening right now? You'd be like, I'm not wrestling that guy. You get killed. He's so built, strong, had everything going, uh, going for him at even that young of an age. They got a picture of him doing his thing, sprinting. <laughs> the dude shredded, his abs are ripped everywhere. His pecs are striated. And he's just a kid, he's always been ripped. So his genetics are to be lean. He's not a genetically kind of like endomorph. He's like mesomorph, ecto, the perfect combination of just like being lean, naturally lean due to lower fat cells and less hunger hormones, you name it, whatever. His body wants to be lean. It doesn't want to be fat. He could never have trained in his life and wouldn't be fat. Guy's just got the blessed genetics. He chose the correct parents for this sport, okay? That's just how it is. 
So he's pretty, looks amazing, looks ripped. He's got already a body of a 20-year-old who's in shape, like a good 20-year-old. And that's at 16. So that's obviously great genetics that's going on. And he's still natural at this point. Age 17, you can see the muscles are starting to round out more. He's getting bigger. His body weight's going up. Natural progression. I mean, just think about it. When you're 13, 14, 15, 16, you're just going through puberty. You're going to get your newbie gains. The muscles are growing at an exponential rate here. It's not like you're 40 years old and you're trying to just get in shape. You're a young teenager and you're training. You're going to grow very quickly. Age 18, the guy looks like a 25-year-old male stripper, but a good male stripper, the kind that actually is in shape. He's in freaking rip shape. The guy could just make a, it's almost embarrassing because he's still a teenager. It's like he's too good looking for his age. So how good looking is he on the Richter scale? All right. He's beyond David Lade. He's beyond V shreds. He's a 9.99. I can't give him a 10 because you got to get room for somebody that might come along in the next 50,000 years to be that good looking. Okay. Also, the hair. How can we not comment on the hair? You all know that the amount of subscribers you have on YouTube has a direct correlation to the length of the hair on the top of your head and the coolness of the style. Notice, not a lot of hair. Not that easy to get subscribers. I don't have millions of subscribers. I don't have the hairstyle for it. Very, very difficult to do. So this guy has the coolest hair and he's a stinking 9.99 Richter scale rating. He could have no brains in his body. He could not even know how to speak and sell programs. This guy is born to make money. If he's not a multimillionaire, then there's something wrong with him. All he would need to do is spend 20 minutes posting a freaking YouTube video, click upload, and he would make money. He looks that good. I mean, think of it, V Shred did it. V Shred makes money. You got naturally gifted wide, broad shoulders. He does, Jeff Seed has side, whatever. Wide shoulders, tiny waist, kaboom. You do this pose, you have a little bit of bicep and you automatically look aesthetic. It's so easy. Wide shoulders, small waist, boom, pose. Get some hair or growth in there. Pout your lips a bit. A little bit. And you're a Gymshark sponsored athlete. Boom! That's all you need to do. Secrets revealed. Don't break the law, but I'm pretty sure most of these people are not natty. Sorry to burst your bubble. Sorry to make it reality that most 16, 17, and 18 year olds are not going to look like Jeff Seed or David Lade or Lex Litter or any of these freaking guys. They're not. He's still ripped at this point. He's 18 years old. He's still shredded in the chest. He's doing his crossovers, his dumbbell presses with the hundreds, training hard, shredded, ripped all the time. Just gifted genetics, okay? You can't teach good genetics. You can train your proper form and go hard, but you need genetics to be able to look like this. And one in a million, folks, that's the kind of genetics this guy has. One in a million, probably less than that, have these kind of genetics. Age 19, he's an IFBB pro in men's physique. Does that mean he's not natty? No, it's 2013, back when the sport made sense. Back when it wasn't friggin' amazing bodybuilders with small waists that were winning men's physique. So Jeff C signed whatever. He was competing against guys that were more normal size. This is in 2013, okay? The way it should still be judged. It's got to go back to that era. It's gone crazy. It's out of proportion and it's ruining it. Does Jeff C side compete now? Nope. Why do you think? Because he needs to be bigger than me to win. That's why. No one can do it natural anymore. It's impossible. It's, it's ridiculous. So he competes in his first pro show. Does he win? No, he doesn't win. He's natural. He doesn't win the show. He gets second place. Now, why doesn't he win this show? 
It's because he's not lean enough. It's like he's always been so gifted and so lean that he just didn't even know he had to get more straight. He's just that good. It's just like, I'm so good, I basically can show up and win everything. Like, that's how good his genetics are. So he doesn't even realize how good you have to be. He's not even as lean as when he's 15 years old competing as a wrestler on stage. Now, another thing you have to consider. Jeff Said looks way better in his photos and selected pictures that he's posting and stuff on Instagram and YouTube. When he actually gets on stage, like on the stage to be judged against other people, he doesn't look as freaky. He doesn't look as impressive. A lot of people, that's the case. You see them in the best lighting, the best camera angles and so on. And you're like, oh my God, there's no way he's natural. But then you see them on stage against real other competitors and you're like, huh? Well, he's only really like eight or 9% body fat. I thought he was 5% because you see that crazy picture with the crazy pump and the certain lighting. And you're like, oh my goodness. But in the reality, he's not as good as you thought. He then competes a month later at the Valenti Cup. And this time he wins it. Yes, he takes the title home and he's off to the Olympia. What, what happened? All he did was get a little bit leaner this time and a little bit fuller this time. So this is what happened. He didn't win his first pro show, looked around and thought, nah, what am I doing wrong? And then he decided to take something to help him with holding more size while getting a little bit leaner. Does that mean he was on everything and anything under the sun? No. What I'm suggesting is that he would have taken a small amount of an oral. Could be a SARM, could be VAR, WIN, whatever. Something small, little bit, just enough to give you that edge. Enough to not be noticeable to most people. Just enough so that you can make the changes but not be accused of anything or not be like, oh yeah, I can see that now. Oh my goodness. If he had put 10 pounds in a month, of course, everyone's going to see that. You're not putting on 10 pounds in a month, no matter what you're doing really. Anyway, one or two pounds, that's all it takes when you're shredded or trying to lose that couple extra pounds to go from 8% to six or six to five, or whatever, a little bit goes a long way. When you're actually natural and gifted, you can take next to nothing and make tremendous changes. So was he natural when he turned pro? Yes. Was he natural when he won? No, not when he won his pro show. So he's natural and just goes and does it for a little bit, a month, hardly anything, just enough. Wins the contest, goes to the Olympia. What happens at the Olympia? Well, the Olympia is the worst judging I've ever seen. I literally watched the Olympia over again, and I'm like, half these guys wouldn't win amateur shows, and they're on the Olympia stage placing in the top five. They don't know what they're judging for. They don't know what they're looking at. It's the first ever show, and they're like, we don't know what a physique should look like. We don't know. Now, if you look back and rewatch the Olympia, you'll be like, what were they thinking? And so what do they eventually do? They just keep rewarding bigger guys, which is stupid. And it's what's ruining the sport. I don't think he's injecting anything. I don't think he's on test. Trent, none, nope, none of that stuff. Just a small little boop, swallow a couple pills, just enough to give me a little bit of a boost. Then he stop, probably not even suppress. Just that. And then he eats a little bit more in the off season gets a bit rounder, gets a little bit chubbier, and for chubby for him is like 12% or less. It's not fat. And you don't really notice that he's lost any muscle because it's just your glycogen stores are up now, and so you don't see anything. And then when you stop the diet, stop the supplements, and when you're eating more and you're gaining some weight, you can't tell because you're getting bigger, but you're fast, fatter, and so people are just going to be like, oh, he's just bulking or eating more and round... They're not going to know. So that's what's happened here. You can't tell that Jeff isn't natural, but he's not natural. He's almost natural, just not natural for the brief period of time before a show, before a competition, before the photo shoots for the freaky pictures. And that's the ones you see all year posted 
when you're at your best, they take a thousand photos. And then for the next year, it's all the wow, oh my God photos. That's what you do. That's what most people do. It's throwback Thursday every day of the week. So 2014, it's a year later. He doesn't look any better at all. He looks worse. He's a bit softer. He doesn't look like he's put on any muscle. He's just like off season. So whatever he took that small amount, He's not taking it. Now he's natural in 2014. And I'm only saying he would have been on for maybe a month for the two shows that he did, like the Olympia and the other show. Okay, so two months total in his life. And he's natural. He's like doing the whole this thing again. As per usual, let's do this pose. That's what everyone does. If you're a fitness model, that's what you do. If you're a bodybuilder, you put the, you know, it's a, just a different pose. It's a different thing that people do. So then Jeff CD competes in 2014 at the Olympia. Does he do good? No. He's not big enough. He's only on next to nothing and only in preparation for these competitions. Just in the like four to six weeks before the actual event. Not enough time to put on the serious amount of muscle that he needs to put on. So he's not even placing in the top 10, despite the fact that he's got the biggest following of all the competitors. So people are like wanting him to win, but he's not because he's not choosing to go all in and go crazy on the supplements. So he's like, He's natty, but not natty, but natty. Because he's not natty, he's not 100% natural, but he's on less than any of the other guys. Then he like takes time off. He's just not competing. I don't know, he likes to party a little bit. He's just not training as hard. Yeah, he's just relaxing, having a good time, enjoying life. And let me remind you, this is a former athlete, okay? He had hurt his knee, ACLs torn, injured, couldn't play football, blah, blah, blah gets into the sport, 18 years old, he's competing and winning all these shows, turns pro, he's the youngest IFBB pro men's physique guy, and he's already in the Olympia, and he's just like a teenager, and like, oh my goodness. But he's not really progressing that much after this point. The sport's evolving, you need to be huge, everyone's getting bigger. So then, he makes his comeback, 2016, let's see how he does. So he enters the Stockholm Pro. He's back on that small little oral cycle. That's all he's doing. And he wins the show and is off to the Olympia. Okay. He's got a little feud with Bundia. You might remember this. Bundia's calling him out. He's firing back. I'll get you. And then he's in this video after he wins. And he's like, now it's serious. I'm not effing around and I'm coming for the crown. I'm going to win this. He's got a new attitude, you can see it. He wants it really bad. Then he makes a YouTube video, abridged, abridged, whatever, 2016 abridged. And he's like writing the words, 120 days, I train every day, five to six hours a day. This is the most dedicated and strict I've ever been in my life with training and diet. The plan is for the Olympia, he wants to win it. I'm like quoting what he's saying. So, those of you who think I'm wrong, no, he's natural. Look, he's just pretty, he's aesthetic. Greg doesn't know. As soon as someone says they trained five to six hours a day to prepare for something of bodybuilding related, you know they're not natural. Yeah, no. It's like code. It's like saying, what did you do to put on all that muscle? I ate chicken, rice, and broccoli eight meals a day. That's code. It's silent code for I'm on some stuff. So Jeff is all in here. He's trying to get huge for this event. He says, come back. He means business. He's an athlete. Athletes want to win. They're very competitive. I'm competitive. We like winning. We try to win. It's hard. You try. He's not going in in 2016 knowing the standard is bigger and better and more size and more ripped and going to show up as his natty self. Hi, I'm, I'm the aesthetic Jeff Seed here again. I'm, I'm still lean and look great, but I, no, he's not showing up to look and get last place. He's showing up to try to win. He's putting on some mass. So he bulks for two months, he says. Then he cuts up for two months. You think you're natural and in four months you're going to bulk up for two months and cut for two and make a noticeable difference? 
when you're natural in four months after you've been training for 11 years after about five years of natural training you probably achieved 80 to 90 percent you can argue with me that it's 100 percent 90 whatever you probably reached most of your gains you don't have a ton left you're not going to be able to in four months make a noticeable change you could maybe gain one or two pounds maybe that's if you're blessed it's four months after 10 years of training you're lucky to gain three pounds of muscle in a year that's one pound in four months if you're good at math so really he had to take something he's not natural here for sure you can debate with me if he was natural in the other shows maybe i was wrong maybe there's just one or two percent chance that he was natural there he is not natural zero percent well i'll put zero point zero one percent chance that he's natural at this point one in a million chance okay that's what i would bet on. i've had to bet my life on it i would bet it there you have it jeff seed not natural 2016 for the olympia five to six hours of training a day do you even believe he trained for even if he's on anything what did he do was it five hours of cardio and one hour of weights was it five hours of weights and one hour of cardio? Does either of those things make any sense? There's 0% chance he trained for five to six hours a day. Five to six hours, and let's give him a day off. Benefit of the doubt. Six days a week, let's go with the smaller side. Five. 30 hours a week? You think he was lifting weights and doing cardio 30 hours a week? I don't care if you're Mr. Olympia bodybuilding open men whatever no one's training that long or that hard or whatever you can't you can't just recover from that it would be stupid to do so there's a, such a thing as an actual overtraining it's not made up it's not made believe you can't just train five hours a day so jeff is lying here about that and he's not being honest about what he's taking but can you blame him everyone would judge him he can't say it he's got quoted on his youtube you know 25 year old natural bodybuilder now notice instagram doesn't say it because he doesn't want to push it too much he doesn't really talk it's not like he's not like in your face i'm natural and you're not how did he do in 2016 after all this last place Woo! he didn't take enough he maybe could move up the ranks if he put on 20 or 30 pounds which he could do if he took every single thing the test and the trend and the, all of it under the sun he would lose the mass marketing he can have because most people in the world want to look like jeff seed they don't want to look like the mr olympia the mr olympia is too overblown it's too much only the freaks want to look like that guys like me want to look like that not normal people normal people they don't even want to look this big jeff seeds plenty big how big is he anyway he's like six feet tall and not even 200 pounds six feet tall that's like seven feet taller than me it's really tall okay it's literally about six inches taller than me so anyway it's a big freaking guy but it's not stupid big 200 pounds at six foot then he mentions in that video you know the average thing i've been just talking about with no coach and being self-taught, I was able to climb the ranks and compete at the pinnacle of the competition of the bodybuilding world. He's not saying it to boast. It's just a reason to show that you can make it. When you're not coached, that gives no evidence of what you're taking or not taking. If somebody is coaching you and they're going to blab their mouth and say what you're doing, that could bite you in the bum later on. So... When you're self-coach and no one knows anything, it's very easy to be able to get supplements and not have anyone know about it. You could literally go on the internet, buy your stinking SARM, get it delivered to your door legally and take it and no one would know and be a fake natty. Very easy. Harder to go up to the gym and go nudge, nudge to seven bodybuilders and look for the one that'll sell you something. They're going to know and then that rumor can go around. So if you want to keep a secret, you're probably not telling a bunch of people what you're doing. So then all your friends are going to be like, oh, I'm friends with Jeff. He's not, he would never do that. No, nobody would ever do it. My bikini girlfriend, oh, she wouldn't take that bar stuff. No way, she, she would tell me. No, they wouldn't tell you. 
They don't. People will tell you about their freaking sex lives and all the freaking dirty shit they do. They're not going to tell you about the bar they're taking. That's just what it is. It's just the bottom line. No one's telling you how they really got pink eye. No one is saying these things. It's a secret. Don't tell anybody. There's so much stuff people do behind closed doors that no one wants to know about. No one's going to talk about it in case you can't. That goes on. So don't judge other people. Just look at all the crap that you've done in your own life, in your own body, and that you've done, and think, if I'm this messed up, there's probably other people that are just as messed up or worse. And so it ain't weird to be doing whatever you're doing. That's just a side message. I think he wants to just be natural. I don't think he's on anything now. I think he's just natural. He looks pretty freaking good. He always had really good genetics. I think he just took a little bit of stuff to get into the competition. Because, I mean, it's not... It's a competition, then you're allowed to do it and expected to do it. To be honest, you're expected to. If you're a natural in a Mr. Olympia, you're an outlier, you're a freak, you're a stranger weirdo. No one is going there expecting you to be natural. So if somebody says that they're natural, it's almost like, what? Why would you be? It's not like, wow, well, dare you? It's not like that. It's like driving five kilometers an hour, five miles an hour over the speed limit on the highway. It's expected. Everyone's doing it. The cops aren't pulling you over. Oh my God, you're three over. No, they're not. You'd be like, really? You're giving me a ticket for being three over. They expect you to be three over. Five over, eight, whatever. But you get the point. That's anabolics. That's gear. That's whatever you want to call it. So, will he compete again? No, of course not. He would look like a twerp, a shrimp, a twip. He would look like a twig. I'm Jeff C. If he went in a natural show, yeah, sure, he could do great. He's not competing in the Olympia. No, it would be stupid. It would be pointless. It would be embarrassing. He could win an amateur show at a local level based on aesthetics alone. And then they would say, hey, dude, you need to just gain 30 pounds and you're going to be awesome. It's just stupid. They need to change the rules of the Olympia, change the rules of men's physique, tone it down. Jeff C's body should win. Boom. You look like Jeff C, that's the one that we want to win. That's the size, that's the body, right there. Bonus points for being cool looking hair. And you need to judge the face. It's men's physique, it's a modeling contest. Women's bikini, you think you're going up there with a butter face and winning? No, you gotta look good, everything. Why do you think you're getting Botox, lip filler, and every freaking implant you can get? It's the total package, the hair, everything. Men's physique, woof. Chisel, the jaw, and the hair. That's how it works. I'm just telling it like it is. Subscribe, click the bell button, like videos. Like it. The more you like the video, the more people are gonna watch this. That helps me. You don't have to hire me for coaching. You don't have to do any of that. Just like the video. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. Check it out. Watch one of these videos or one of those videos, natty or not, and a non-natty or not. This is a natty or not. You like this one, you're going to like that one. Watch that one too. And until next time, I am out.